Niall, a 2 0 defeat to Balamini United here tonight. What's your thoughts on the game? I'm really frustrated, man. I, um, I'm really frustrated. You know, it's, it's, it's one of them games again, I'm sure. Anybody who watches this probably think it's like a broken record sometimes, but you know, there's absolutely nothing in that game. You know, right up to 80, 80 odd minutes there, there's, you know, I think we're we're well, well in it. Uh, we've we've done really well in the first half, matched them in every department. Had a, had a great save by Ross. You know, they've had one they've had one breakaway. You know, one breakaway down the side in the first half. We get the wrong side. Stevie has the ball, the situation under control and slips. And, and suddenly you're one 0 down, and you're coming in at half time. We've had the best chances. We've got in there last third, most three, four, five times in the in the first half. They've got in there our last third once, and um, we we end up coming in one 0 down at half time. And I think that's a frustration, man. You know, you ask you ask yourself, you know, you come in and you try and pick the players up, and you say, "Wow, I don't know how we're how we're sitting in this situation, but we are." But ultimately, you know, I thought we started the second half the same. No, absolutely no issues. Orn Hogs had pr probably 80 minutes of a dream tonight, doing very, very little. But I just think, as I said before, we, we get into the last third of the pitch so many times, and we don't we don't make the right decisions, and we don't get the right the right end product from from them situations around. And we have got in behind Balamina numerous times tonight, and got nothing from situations. And I think that's the most frustrating thing that I have is that um, we, we're 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 doing really well. Uh, and, and a lot of a lot of situations, but ultimately that final situation is goals. And um, unfortunately, it, it just we, we got behind them and we just did not make the right decisions tonight. And, and I think that's where we fall down. That's where we fell down tonight. But you know, I think this moment, you know, their their breakaway for the for the second goal. That's it. You know, that's it. You know, it's uh, again it's, it's a situation where we're in control of, and we've got two v one. And unfortunately, we've made a wee mistake. And, and by the way, Lee Chapman was fantastic tonight uh, again. So, um, but we've made a mistake. And but look at the finish. Look at the strength. Look at the the pace. Look at the finish. And that's uh, that's that's what sometimes the difference is. And that's just being honest with the situation. Um, and that's the frustration. But I thought the boys. Listen, I've said many times, Ryan. You know, that's a that's a good performance for me. I know it's an odd defeat, and we're, we've got nothing out of a game, and it's very frustrating. But you know we'll have to we'll, we'll have to stick by what, what the principle is, and the principle is keep performing like that, and, you, and we'll get our we'll get our return. But we also will help to help have to help ourselves, Ryan. And that means whenever we get into the last third, making the right decisions, picking the right balls out, and making the right runs into the box. You know that that would be a big help as well. So that, I think that's the frustration tonight. That's a not you know was nothing in that game, Ryan. You know my boys have came here tonight, and as a manager, all you ask for is to give you everything, and they've given me everything again. I'm getting every drop out of these boys, and ultimately, it's very frustrating to come away with nothing. But again, it's just happened too much. It's happened too much this season, and I said that to the boys after the game. Unfortunately, we come in again, and we say we should have, we should have got something from that game. We, we deserve something from that game, and ultimately, that's happened too often this season. But I've said that we're, you know we have to evolve this, this club, and we have to get into a situation where, where we we can kick kick ourselves on, because we're not too far away from the Balaminas. We're not too far away at all. And um, as I say, if we can, if we can get things right in the in the coming year, I think um, we have the nucleus of a, a fantastic, honest bunch of players here. And if we can get it right, um, then I think uh, as a show tonight, I thought there was very little in that game. I was very, very proud of the players. They're giving me everything. They're giving the club everything. And sometimes you come away with nothing, and, and I'm more frustrated, Ran. I'm more frustrated than I am. Then I am disappointed, to be honest with you. I'm very, very frustrated because I come away from that game thinking there was there was something in that game for us. And uh, unfortunately, as I say, it's happened too many times this year. We've we've ended up with nothing. Mm -hmm. It's happened in some of our recent games as well, where we're we're well in the game against you know those teams, yeah. but we can see kind of sitners of goals. Yeah. Do you think that happened tonight with both the goals really that we were well in the game? Yeah, and I think so. The team I, think, I think you know the first goal was. We just switch off for a split second and the guy gets through but again it's dealt with normally nine times out of ten Stevie deals with that situation and then and then the second goal is frustrating again you know we're in control of the situation uh, but as I say we seem to be making individual errors and getting really really punished for every every one we make so um but as I say we've got to we've got to turn we've got to make our own luck sometimes too Ryan. we have had numerous opportunities tonight in the last third of the pitch to get some quality into the box to make some quality runs and we haven't done it. You know, let's be honest about it. You know, there Ross Ross has made three or two or three saves in the game. Um but 
ultimately we created nine or ten or eleven or twelve great opportunities to work them better, and we didn't weren't able to do that just through that last that last decision making process. So, as I say, not, I'm, I'm I'm frustrated more than anything because we're coming away tonight and. You know, there was definitely something in that game for us, and that's the big disappointment. Looking forward to Saturday, we're away to Lauren at the Derby game. Are you hoping to put those kind of frustrations right with that, that game coming up? Well, if we make the right decisions, you know, that's the bottom line, Ryan. But you know, we 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 know that uh, you know they're a fantastic team, and and um, they'll be able to juggle things around. But we also know that if we're right, they'll be in for a game. It's a very difficult place to go, big wide open pitch, and they play fantastic football. So we're going to need. A lot of a lot of good legs on Saturday, but ultimately, if we can cut the errors out, we will have our chances against them. We will have chances against them. There's no doubt in my mind about that. And um, if that's the case, then and we defend well, we will always have a chance. You know, as I say, all I ask the players to do is do what they have been doing. You know, the last two or three performances and, and effort levels have been fantastic. You know, we're, we should be sitting on six points now. Obviously, with Saturday's sickness, so uh, that's a big disappointment. Tonight would have been a, a, a lot less a blow if we would have sitting with three points there on Saturday. So they they kicked themselves on, unfortunately. But um, no, as I said, as a manager, I'm very very proud of them. You know, they give me every drop, and uh, we know what we've got to do to evolve the situation. So hopefully, we can do that. But this group of players. You know, they've been fantastic and, and as I say, no complaints, they're as honest as a day.